morning dear learner morning class of english myself dr iman kumar department of english bin kolbhaiya now today we will discuss a new relevant fantastic topic war poetry as we have discussed ism group the era the age of british english literature from anglo saxon to 20th century 21st century now today i will give lecture on war poetry war poetry is a modern era it is written in 20th century 21st century when world war first happened before that it is known as french poetry in the period of Chaucer, Geoffrey Chaucer and Anglo Saxon period. Now coming to the point, today we will discuss what is poetry, what is war poetry, why it is needed writer to write, why it is compulsory in the history of British literature, what are the thoughts, characteristics about war poetry. As you know, there are so many definition of poetry but famous and touching definition of poetry is william wordsworth and t s eliot wordsworth writes about poetry that poetry is a spontaneous overflow of powerful feeling and emotions recorded in tranquility let me examine this line this line of poetry the definition of poetry a spontaneous overflow of powerful feeling when your feeling and thought become spontaneous become overflow it cannot be controlled by you it brings out of all of sudden from your mind from your mouth that is poetry words that burns an idea that breeds makes poetry but what eliot says poetry is not turning the root of emotion but an escape from emotion as we know english student that emotion and feeling imagination these are essential for english literature without emotion and feeling we can't write poetry ism and any era any writer for writer it is compulsion emotion feeling imagination is essential and mandatory compulsion my definition right word is the right place makes poetry For instance, I will present one or two lines. Love bid me welcome, come with me and be my love. Consider this arrangement of words, only words. Right word is the right place, makes poetry. This is my definition. Come with me. Consider this only words. the arrangements which makes poetry what is war poetry why it is written war poetry written at the time of first world war and the writer participate in world war and write poetry not touching romance an entertainment but the thought and death of soldier death of civilian they write and they participate in the world war this is the significant point the focal the central point of war poetry the famous writer of war poetry are either upon and t s eliot T.S. Eliot and Ezra Pound 
presents that why war happens why world war world war first and second happen war sir happen only when kings are strong war is an inevitable is sure to happen if you want peace you must fight that is concept that is thought without knowing can sequence if hitler and mussolini know the consequences of world war first the war cannot happen the imperialism in germany the rising of nazi party of hitler became despotic dictator fascist and the rise of mussolini hitler fascist power creates the world war but they know hitler and mussolini the consequences of war you know the hitler died himself he killed the two or three goli in his stomach and he died that is suicide ultimately he did suicide hitler if he knows consequences that this time will come the war cannot happen as hitler did suicide himself so why it happens due to power due to despotic power the kings became blind the power corrupt people and absolute power corrupt absolutely so it is possible in war poetry this is the cause of world war the earlier war poetry is jam of literature in the first world war or second world war and the most significant the focal central point about that is this the writer who writes war poetry participating in world war and no house soldier sir died they are seeing and they perform they participate in world war and then they write poetry without touching emotion and feeling without touching imagination they write poetry and through poetry he awakened people he gave message people about world war that is the theme of world war world war war poetry and the writer could not create romance imagination feeling only presents the position the real position the realism reality he presents in poetry in writing the writer reality he presents without touching emotion and feeling and imagination the reality of world war how people how soldiers are become death become dead in war world war and not only this they participate in world war and then they write poetry without feeling emotion touching emotion feeling imagination as you know the writer scientist and philosopher have secondary vision primary vision that has everybody but secondary is real we found in politics politician real we found in politician who frame policy domestic or foreign policy that is real in politics but writer scientist and philosopher have always secondary vision a writer goes always in right direction and then he creates right something and when the thought become personal to when the thought become individual to universal 
such as the worldly life, that is greatness of writer. Not only greatness of writer, but anybody else whose thought takes the shape of universality, touches everybody, touches the heart of every man, that it seems to be happen, that is greatness of thought. That is unification of sensibility, produces a good thing. This is session of sensibility, produces bad thing. This is English sensibility. This is English potentiality. Dear learner, welcome back. Discussing about war poetry. Writer part participating in war poetry and writes poetry. Or why, why, why they are compelled? Why it is compulsion? Why it is needed? to participating in world war and writing poetry and thought. They create thought, they generate thought because audience will hard and awaken and participate in war. Nine, 19 people, million dollar, million people, 90 million people were died in World War. Eight years continuing war. France, Rome, Italy, not only Europe but also America. And almost world divided into two parts, Allied power and central power. Division of country, India was also participating. Allied power and central power were divided into two groups in First World War and Second World War under the dynamic leadership of Hitler and Mussolini. As I have said you that English sensibility having a different type of sensibility English people have a rich potentiality. Supposing we take example of Indian writing of English, like Murugajananda, R.K. Narayana, Vinna Tagore, Sarodhini Naidu, etc. What is the mark of foreign writer, American, French, British writer, that they have lesser sensibility about Indian writing? They are wisest but meanest for mankind. That is the remark of foreign abroad writer on English, Indian English writer. They have lesser sensitivity, lesser vision, and lesser English sensitivity as we found in a broad writer like Shakespeare, Milton, Therese Eliot, William Butteret, especially by Cicely, C. G. Rosti, etc. They are virtuous food. The Indian writers are virtuous food. That is a remark of French writer. Virtuous food, how it is possible? If you have virtue, you have, you have ability, merit, everything you have, that is virtue, but you are foolish. Virtuous foolish. How this term is used by Bacon? Why just but meanest? Bacon remark is this. This is the question in front of English people, English world. And you know, the 20th century world is purely American world, American literature impact on British literature and touches almost all rich speaking country of the world. That is the paradigm, paramount of English height, English literature. Because literature heightens the awareness of human life. English literature heightens the awareness of human life. It cannot be stale. It, it's always living. Language is a living thing. With the change in social setup, automatically there is a change in the use of language but never dies. Language never dies, never still. 
the heightened English language, heightened the awareness of human life. And this is the amazing point, paradigm of English sensitivity, English potentiality, as we found in American, French, and British writers, not in New writers. They have tried, in United try, have tried, but not producing data humanism. They present only simple humanism. There is a difference between data religion, data humanism, and humanism. I will talk in lecture, another lecture about data humanism, data religion. Communication, orientation, and 20th century impact on British literature. The war poetry impact on British literature. The war poetry touches the world audience. I will discuss in details orientation, data religion, data humanism, communication, alienation. These are the concepts, these are the thought of modern era. At that time, poetry and thought were created. I used to speak Italian word, Mugli. Mugli is Italian word. In India, it is said to resemble, corroborate. So, the war poetry resemble, corroborate the worldly accepted people. Their thought, vision are acceptable. This is the miracle, the dynamic point of war poetry in the history of British literature, in the history of world war. Nullifying, about to conclude, long life, comma, long life tolerance, long life innocent, I have finished my lecture at that point. Okay, thank you with good wishes.